Hey guys, so it's been several days since I've poured in the, f the flushing fluid. I've put on a couple hours of driving and today I'm going to finally show you how to finish flushing the coolant system. So first I'm going to drain the cleaning fluid that I poured into the engine. Um, I'm not going to go into detail on how to drain it. I have a video on that. You can check it out. So first we're going to drain the fluid. Okay, so the fluid's draining. I'm going to wait for it to stop draining from the radiator and then I'm going to drain it from the block. Okay, as you can see, I'm draining the cleaner from the engine block. Okay, now that it's stopped draining, I'm going to tighten all the bolts and I'll see you up top. Okay, so I have the bleeder valve off. The reservoir cap is off. I'm going to fill up the system with water. Okay, as you can see, I have water coming out of the bleeder valve. I'm going to close that up. Okay, now that's tight. And now I'm going to keep adding water to the system until I know for sure it's almost full. Okay, as you can see, the um, the reservoir is filled with water. I'm going to close it down now. Okay, now I'm going to go start the car. Okay, with the car started, I'm going to wait until this hose up here gets warm. Once it gets warm, it means the water has done a circulation through the system. I'll turn off the car and I will repeat the whole process of draining it, adding water, and then running it again several times. Okay, so this hose right here, it's pretty warm to the touch, so I'm going to I can now assume that the thermostat has opened and the water has done a full circulation. I'm going to give it some time to cool down because it is a little warm. While it's cooling down, I will drain, I will um, empty out the whatever fluid I flushed out of the system into a bucket in order to recycle it. Okay, so while the hose is cooling, I'm gonna just come to a conclusion. So basically the way to do a flush in this car is to drain the coolant I would strongly recommend that after you drain it, you flush it with distilled water. That way you don't have to figure out some way to completely drain the system because even though I drained a lot of the water out that I had in the system, there is still some left in the heater core. I would strongly recommend that you use distilled water to flush this. You basically do the same process over several times. You drain the coolant, add water, flush the system, let it heat up till it's warm, drain it, close it all off, add more water, start the car, wait for it to heat up, drain it, and repeat as many times as you want to. But I would strongly recommend using distilled water. That way, just add your coolant and just top off the system and you'll be fine. In the next video, I will show you how to add the coolant.